not just a place. It's not just a theater company. A group of young people who were totally committed. We did with very little or no money, but it was based on the kids and their energy. And just as in a regular mosaic, you have each individual piece that could stand on its own as a work of art. But when you put them all together, it feeds into something so much bigger than us all. We really saw there was a lot of potential in the city. There were a lot of young, really talented people who didn't have any opportunity in school or any place else to do theater. There's always going to be young artists who need a place, who need a place to come together and express their art. And I think that there's always going to be a market for that. There's always going to be people who are interested in seeing that and experiencing that. But I know that the need will always be there. The sky is the limits for Mosaic. It's nothing that Mosaic couldn't accomplish. What I would like to see is it to go so far that everyone in the United States knows who Mosaic Youth Theater of Detroit is. It has been very clear what Mosaic stands for with regards to professionalism, how you present yourself in public, with regards to how you treat the people around you. Within the past few years, we've helped over a thousand young artists throughout the metro Detroit area pursue their dreams. The people who are here still have something to say, and the way that these young artists are able to say it is through their art. There is so much more uh, that we can do, just given the time and opportunity. Especially in times like now, in terms of the economic situation in, in the country and in the world and in the city, art is fluff. Art is frivolous. Art is something that we will have money for after we pay for all the other basic needs. Art is a basic need, and I guess that's the one thing I would want to say. It's not something extra if we get a chance. It is a basic need just like air and food and drink and shelter.